Welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial where we change how the title is displayed, the window title, the display name, the splash screen. So what am I talking about? Well, then if you open your game in the window, so in this preview or for example in the final version, you normally have as a default set made in Game Maker Studio, which is nice, but not for us. We want to have our name being displayed here in this window there so how do we do this well easy so let's jump into an empty project and then for example once we start our empty project then the default is made in game maker studio so let's check it out does it say that yes created with game maker studio 2 let's change that for that we just have a nice little object drag it into the room so i already did this and then we just say hey windows head caption and then well, we input a name, whatever you want. So, best game ever. Here we go. Exclamation mark. And let's restart it. And then this is how we fixed uh, this little issue. So, hopefully, that was of interest to you. But if you stick around, I got a little nice surprise for the next video. And what am I talking about? Well, I wanted to recreate a Chrono Trigger style text box. And this is basically what you're seeing in front of you. So uh, good old games like Final Fantasy VII, the old ones, not the new ones, had kind of a similar structure. And we can recreate this pretty fast and easy with nine slices. And I'm gonna show you how to recreate this one. This is a little bit more difficult, but we're gonna recreate it based on some graphics and then we put it together and then you can use and abuse it to your liking. Of course, once again, just how the whole text box is looking like. No text box system like here. This is, I guess, something for the future. Alrighty, that was it from my side. Have a good one. One up indeed.